let's try 209. trying to find uh, an agricultural agent or someone who can help us identifying a problem with a plant. Um, check downstairs in the 4-H. 4-H. The Purdue Extension. Okay. It, as soon as you get off the elevator, turn to your left and it's the first door right around the corner. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. She said it was down. Oh, the elevator? Yeah. Or actually, I did walk down. <laughs> Stairs. This way, I guess. Oh, here. agricultural agent or someone who can help us identify a problem I've got with a couple of trees. Chairs, they're comfy. Mm -hmm. Comfy chairs. I'd say maple and track house. Uh, not unusual in this kind of weather and stuff we're dealing with. Oh, okay. the, thing, the big thing is, is cleaning up the leaves, especially at the end of the year. You want to get it taken care of. Uh, you know, uh, they say here, you know, fertilization, but I would get a. Are you fertilizing the lawn in here or anything like that? Uh, well, I did just 12-12-12 uh, earlier this spring. Well, again, I don't, don't get crazy on fertilizing trees. That's okay. the main thing, especially if they're in stress. That's not a good thing to do. Okay. Uh, you know, just make sure it keeps good vigor through the season. The watering, like we like to see our trees get inch, inch and a half of water a week. Which, okay. You know, you have to get our inch of rain, which is not a problem this year. <laughs> yeah, right really. Uh, but the problem is we're getting too much water, and that's causing that. It's usually not a thing that's going to kill a tree unless you know it really continues to be a problem year after year okay. but what you can do is um, uh, this this product here is good is chlorothenethol uh, and uh, or and this would work good it's called trade names is daconale yeah. 
Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. Now, and fungin. Tree for a double I may spell this one wrong, but. Your check is $5 too much. It's $5 for his. Fungin oil. Many um, I know you can get this this product at like your big box stores. Mm -hmm. uh, this sure? product, uh, Adler's, carry it. Um, the thing is, um, this will help in the in the onset or beginning or like almost before it's a preventive mm -hmm. post type application mm -hmm. so um, to this year just kind of uh, if you find that something just totally dies and the, and the, and the, the limbs are just you know no chance of ever coming back to life but quite honestly I'd wait till spring and see what comes out and what leaves out once your leaf out is there kind of prune out what's dead um, but um, chances are maples are pretty tough. They, okay. they can regenerate pretty well. Okay. But this is a preventative, and it's kind of one of those things you kind of have to spray. You know, every so when it rains, you get to go back and spray again. Spray it again. Yeah, okay. So, I understand uh, completely. So, but it looks right. like looks like maple anthracnose to me. Okay. If, if you want to. A, a better uh, guesstimate, then we've got, you can send it off to Blue and the pathologist will actually look at it. For oh, about I didn't think 15 it's that critical, but I just, okay, yeah. I, again, they're nice trees and I wanted to be sure I yeah. took care of them. Yeah, so. and like I said, uh, main thing right now this year is just maintain the vigor of the tree. Nope. And I, it would probably open better if I pushed the right side of yeah, the door. Yeah, sometimes they work better that way. <laughs> so what's wrong with the tree? Well, um, pretty much the, what I suspected. Um, the disease is called anthracnose. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Okay. And it causes the leaves right. to do that. Um, what he was saying and what I didn't know, and I'm glad I checked with him, is that applying that uh, chemical now of it mm -hmm. uh, continuing, continuing to grow. Yeah. But uh, we will go ahead and do that and see what happens. See what happens.